Scorpio, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. Live from Atlantic City. I'm so sorry it took so long to get your weekly message to you. Well, some of you noticed, of course, many of you haven't. So be sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button that I'm assuming you already clicked, dear Scorpio, so that you are notified to when I post a video for you. Uh, it is a general, so it won't resonate for everyone's situation. So you guys check out your playlist in the comment section below. If anyone would like a personal reading, feel free to contact me. The number four love dot info. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's coming in for love in this week? Ace of Swords, you guys, breakthrough and awareness. This is your energy up top. We're going to get your partners or the person on your mind's energy in the second row, as well as the final outcome for you both at present. Third row. Let's go. We have three of wands in your energy. So you are definitely feeling like you are waiting for a chance to resume, uh, to proceed with someone in a love situation. Uh, there is a, de a defense being put up by them, I suppose, although it is in your energy. You're quite aware of a defense mechanism that's being played here. Um, you thought the relationship was going one way, but you realize now you may be waiting for something that may never arrive. There's somebody who's on defense, not feeling like they should give you what you want, dear Scorpio, or perhaps that they can't. I feel like you're coming to this realization now, Page of Swords. You are definitely thinking about this. Look at this, the Page and the Ace of Swords. You are so consumed in your mind's eye. These thoughts about whether or not this person is going to fulfill your desires, whether or not this relationship is progressing as it should. You've been waiting for some change. You've been waiting for them to deliver on a promise, dear Scorpio. Let's get more. What's the overall energy? What's your fortune here? in thinking and considering this person and whether or not they're good for you. I feel like next year, you guys, it's a five year. So you see how 2020, two plus two, four. So four is like everything, even, you know, trying to find um, a, a solid foundation to stand on, especially in this rocky year with coronavirus and the like and unemployment and yada, yada, yada. Dear Scorpio, but next year, the five, 2021, that's when it counts because you're not gonna move into next year with the same people. Look at this. With the same people, we have unity here for you. With the same people that you have been dealing with in 2020 in love relationships, I'll tell you right now, um, you guys are ready to cut ties. You guys are ready to let loose. Only uh, the strong will survive, okay? So strong connection, strong bonds, strong friendships, strong romance. If it's not strong, if it's weak, um, <laughs> it's going to be poked. Uh, um, you know, it's like going to be a balloon that becomes inflated, your love situation, okay? Because the five years always promise change, big shifts in your your day-to-day -day existence and who you're loving, who's around you, what you're doing on a day-to-day. -day. It's going to be completely different for many of you. So unity is your good fortune though. So right now you're considering many of you, dear Scorpio, is this person best suited to me? Can I trust this person? Is this person going to deliver on a promise? Am I waiting in vain? Am I wasting my best years with this person? Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Hit the like button if it resonates at all, but also major key is to hit this like button only if you claim this reading for your life. And so it's likely too soon to do so. Let's see what's in our partner's energy. What is in Dear Scorpio's partner's energy? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, five of cups. They are reflecting on old wounds. <laughs> so what's stopping them from delivering on a promise or for coming through for you is the fact that they're hurt for many of them. Four of Pentacles, you would be uh, well advised to know they do not want to lose you though. Two of Wands, look at this. They are planning for you, my loves. Remember, you were the three awaiting results here. They are the Two of Wands. They are planning and deciding as I speak how to progress this union, uh, what to do for you, what to do with you. There is unity promised to you. So it says a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Remember what I said, if it's not strong love, dear Scorpio, in the next year, it just will not tra um, transfer over, okay? Now, 
So it looks like everything you're waiting on um, and you're starting to feel like it's a bleak existence and maybe this person is not best suited to you, it looks like you will be unit um, united, okay? Either you guys are apart and you're waiting for a physical visit from this individual or you're waiting for like a proposal, a commitment of sorts, okay? To come together and progress your unions. Your person down here is making efforts they are reevaluating the situation they have the seven of pentacles so pentacles speak to that promise of a solid foundation like a tree deep rooted at the center here there's a door you enter in this is home they're trying to consider how to incorporate um, you better into their lives. They do not want to lose you. The Four of Pentacles is here. So while you wait, don't think this person is having a grand old time without you. They are very saddened and lonely at this time, okay? Perhaps they just cannot. They do not have the means to deliver on what your Scorpio expects at this time. But what is your person's good fortune? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the good fortune here for dear Scorpio and their person? So your person who doesn't have enough to give you what you would like. <laughs> oh, man, this is so look, your person is so saddened and afraid of losing you, afraid that you don't feel like they love you truly because they can't do something for you at this time. OK, but they do not want to let you go. They do have a scarcity mindset pertaining whether or not you'll wait for them. They are planning and deciding two of wands here and reevaluating the situation. How can they make this work the world is here what they're gonna need to do your person's good fortune is be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life we have the world here for those who are literally separated by oceans by seas do know that they are considering whether or not to move and journey forth towards you is home with you um, should they do this when can they do this how will they do this do know next year you will be united though it is going to be a united front i know dear scorpio your energy speaks to being restless at this time not being certain not being sure not trusting that this person even has the love for you that they do but rest assured they will come through for you thank you holy spirit what's the final outcome for you both and we have the world here make a wish look at that wish cycle completion you guys if you're apart the cycle has ended on that let's go Holy Spirit, what else is happening overall outcome for these two? For dear Scorpio, wow, <laughs> obsession. We have devil energy here. So wanting it all with you, not willing to part. Um, it, it could get very intense between you and yours, dear Scorpio. Just at the brink of thinking this may not work, thinking I should transform out of this, I should die and be reborn to something new. And then this person just lulls you back. And the real true reason is they can't be without you. OK, there's um, the, but they feel sad because they just cannot afford to be with you at this time. And in some some way, shape or form. All right. Let's see. What else? King of Wands. Woo! Passion. It also says visionary leader. So like you guys are going to get the vision since you are right now, dear Scorpio, in your Ace of Swords, Page of Swords mindset pertaining this truly uh, driving it home, studying uh, conversations that have transpired, studying your person's actions. You're looking more to what has not happened yet as opposed to what has. And I just want to let you know that would be a mistake because ultimately you guys uh, your person does get the vision they will decide to of wands how to move forward with you okay the world is in their energy as well as in your overall outcome here okay thank you holy spirit let's go one more for the overall outcome for these two healing and recovery. You guys, four of swords energy. You guys, it's going to take some time. There's intense feelings here that somebody just doesn't 
feel uh, loved because of something material, because something has yet to happen, yet to be fulfilled. What's the good fortune for you both, though? Because this person is going to get the vision um, and they are reevaluating at present. They're going to know how to move forward and bring the world to you. These doors are opening for you both. Here we go. There goes the death card, dear Scorpio. Here you go. Here goes that time of natural transition and transformation for you both. Right when you're on the brink of saying, well, hey, I've been waiting and, and them not coming forward and you second guessing this, the world is here. Unity is here. A transition. Look, bottom of the deck. I'll let you read that if you can see that, okay? Dear Scorpio, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Don't give up just yet. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's clarify all of these cards before we go. Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Knight of Cups. Just thinking about your knight and how they haven't come forth, all right? Thinking about the romance that you need, that you're missing. There's a void. Their Scorpio can't wait much longer. What's up, cross watches? Three of Wands. Why is that here? The Hierophant. See, this could be a soulmate contract that you guys made. And so you yearn even more, dear Scorpio, for things to happen in the 3D on the earthly physical plane. You yearn so much more because soulfully you feel like something's missing. And so you await. You await the loves of your lives. You await the opportunities of lifetimes. And if it is a soul tie, my darlings, in the spiritual world, it's going to happen in the flesh regardless, okay? We're going to need to exude some more patience. Why is the seven of wands here? Queen of swords, do not get nasty, dear Scorpio, with your people because they may not uh, be showing and proving to your liking. Uh, remember, divine timing is at play always, okay? Trust. Trust. You might be dis defensive. You might be harsh to this person when they finally do reach out. When they connect with you, you have attitude, dear Scorpio. Mm -mm. <laughs> Elder Scorpio, Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? What are we thinking about so much, dear Scorpio? Knight of Swords. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Back to back energy. We have Taurus here as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With the Knight of Cups. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Why is the Five of Cups in dear Scorpio's partner's energy? What is the sadness all about here we go it is a struggle seven of freaking wands it's a damn struggle for your person dear scorpio the whole thing it is a freaking struggle okay four of pentacles why is that here king of swords look scarcity mindset this person is cutthroat and ruthless and bickers right back with you because if you get nasty with them dear scorpio they get nasty with you why they're afraid of losing you so instead of coming emotionally softly sweetly they come cold all right this is that king of swords energy why because of the four of pentacles notion that you are gonna leave them alone barren fruitless Oh, dear Scorpio. Okay, let's go. Why is the two of wands here in your person's energy? We got the seven of pentacles. More to do about, look, two sevens. Look, it's more to do about effort, effort. They really just don't feel like they're capable. Maybe they're, they don't have the money and the resources. They don't have the time for whatever reason, but it's killing them because they feel like, you know, you might leave them. Unity, good fortune for dear Scorpio. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Unity to come in this situation, guys. Don't want you to forget it. I know it's out of the camera's view. I'll move it over there. Unity for you. The world opens up for them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Claim this reading by liking it. Also, if you're new, please click subscribe. Thank you so much for your love and support, love tribe. Seven of Pentacles is here because judgment. You see, there is a call to action on your person's life. There is a call to action, okay? Judgment is a huge twin flame card as well. You see that flame, you see the cauldron burning, okay? The time is a ticking. Someone's biological clock is ticking as well. Oh, this Scorpio. <laughs>
okay the world's here cycle completion at the bottom why is the world here for you both thank you holy spirit Woo! because something is changing big shift tower moment okay where you thought you couldn't make it boom things change for your person to the point where they can bring you what you dream of okay maybe not in all areas of your life dear scorpio but the main thing that you want from this person trust me they are planning it out the empress is here because you are see you are who they want empress energy empress is above a queen highly esteemed highly revered there's passion here there's lust there's an obsession with you. You can't just leave them alone, dear Scorpio. You must trust this person is coming forth. Why is the king of wands here? Look, you see, because of the lovers, all right? Give it time, you guys. Someone very passionate about you is going to come show and prove. Like this uh, video only, please, if you're claiming this message for your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know who's watching. Why is the four of swords here for you both? Why is this four of swords here for you both? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Four of swords because page of pentacles. So just trying to find peace, okay? Healing and recovering through losses, through debt, okay? Financial dilemmas that doesn't help your situations improve as a romantic couple. Your person's working on it. Again, the world was here. Unity is here. The page of pentacles. They are speaking to offering you exactly what you desire. If only you can hold out and wait for it. Scorpio, your card came out though overall, so I do feel like you guys are going to be transformed in this union. I do hope you keep the faith alive. Lovers Oracle for dear Scorpio. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Lovers Oracle for dear There we go. <laughs> All right. It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. What a message. Allow your partners to go through what they need to go through to better themselves for you. They're striving. Seven of wands. They are trying <laughs> seven of pentacles. You guys, I love you for watching. I do wish you all the best united fronts only and the world is yours be blessed peace